Are you getting on Qatar? Yeah, it's good. Um, it's busy. The hours are outrageous. Um, and I'm pretty bored of flying back and forward between um, Qatar and, and Dubai as well. But it is what it is. I'm, I'm going there for a cool reason, so I can't complain. I was going to say, like, you got the vest top on. Oh, it's fucking freezing here, to be fair. Out. Yeah, today, right this second, 30 degrees right now. And that's that's winter for the for the yeah, that's, that's winter, yeah. Right. Have you had time to think about Paddock much? Yeah, always. I'm uh I'm always obviously as much as I can be when I can be getting on the commentary. Um I've told Saul I'm gonna kill him if he doesn't keep me completely updated to everything that's going on in the game. Uh obviously I'm still in the group chats with the coaches, with the players. Um and I've I've been watching the games, been checking out the huddle reports, checking out Jack's reports, um, and I've been speaking individually to to a lot of the players actually as well, just uh, talking to them about mostly about the positives that they've been doing actually, not really just touching on any of the mistakes any of them have made while I've been away, just just keeping it pretty light and pretty positive. Yeah, I mean, talking about the team, I mean, since you've gone, there's actually been a few like tactical changes that we haven't seen yet in terms of the lineup. Um, one of which is Tom playing out wide. Um, and A B, who obviously he started in your last game before you went against Upton. But kind of since that game, he's really kind of taken that position as his own. He's been absolutely unbelievable. I mean, are they a couple of things that you thought about doing before you were going, especially playing Tom on the right? Because again, something no, he's had a lot of success in. I think we've played Tom wide on one occasion, but I can't remember for the life of me when it was. But we've played Tom in the eight. We've played him as a false nine. We've played him as a nine. Tom's a hard-working player with, with good link-up skills. Um, and he's a good number nine. I think to fit AB in the team, I probably would have played AB wider, to be honest. Um and it probably wouldn't have crossed my mind to try Tom as the winger in terms of those as a partnership. But from what I can see, it's given us a quite dynamic forward lineup um, so far. So I don't know if that's what's going to be going on, going on then this weekend. Um, I think it will be. Um, but I know Kieran's back in the mix. Ronaldo's uh, just left. So Ronaldo's going to be on the bench I presume um this weekend so it it should be it should probably be at least in the forward line as we were last week but yeah I think Tom's got a couple of things which suit him playing in a number of positions and what impressed me in last week's game was was how early I mean obviously we scored twice from it but he did it a few times where he kept it light and he kept it early and he was hitting early crosses um, and I'm sure as a striker, he knows where he wants the ball to go. Um, so he's just got to put it in the area. And one of the things I actually spoke to AB about this week was was to just make runs. Just don't wait until you see him cross it. That's too late. Make a run and see if the ball arrives where you arrive. So hopefully that's something that we'll see this weekend. Did, did Trezeguet tell you to tell him that? No, Gary Lineker. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be someone, didn't it? Um, yeah, that's the beauty of what I do out here is like you, you're talking to some legends of the game. So the little nuggets of information that you get for players at our level is absolutely invaluable. Um, like Rio just walks around just throwing nuggets on the floor. He doesn't even realize he's doing it. But some of the stuff that he comes out with has absolutely found its way into our training sessions and my team talks. Uh, and every single player that we meet um, and every manager that we meet I'm learning something off them. So it's a hell of a privilege to be able to do this job. Uh, who's starting right back when you get back then? Is it going to be Mikey? Is it going to be Danny Simpson? Or is it going to be Cafford? <laughs> <laughs> we need to get Danny on it. He's up for it. Um, I think he's trying to find a club. He might just he might play a game or two for us for a little bit of fitness, but uh, we'll see. He, he is up. Cafu, Cafu, I don't know. Cafu looks a bit... He, he still looks in shape, I'll tell you that. Does he? A little bit of a language barrier, but it doesn't matter at that standard, does it? No, um, football's a language. Joe, you know what? I'm actually gutted I didn't bring a paddock shirt out here because you can imagine some of the people... Did you not bring one? No. I thought that'd be like the first thing in your case. But the, Brad, this is technically a, sh a paddock shirt. Yeah. Um, like, but no. Um, yeah, I've, uh, 
I've, I forgot to bring one. Absolute drop the ball from me, yeah. though. I was going to ask you before we talked about that um, about Bill. Obviously, Bill's taking the reins of the team. Um, are you kind of just letting him do his thing, or are you speaking to him every week and sort of giving him a little bit of what you want him to do? No, it's his, it's his train set while I'm away. So um, I've actually spoken to him less than I do during the normal course of a week, in all honesty, um, while I've been out here. Bill's not a texter. Bill's a ringier kind of guy. And um, I can't take calls or I can't take calls on, I certainly can't take WhatsApp calls. And the amount of time Bill's on when he rings you, I'd be on for hours. So yeah. uh, I, I think just from an economics point of view, he's, uh, he's, I've left him to it and he's sort of left me to it. I mean, I've been so busy anyway. I don't know if I'd have found the time to take a call off him. Bill's experience embarrasses mine. So why would I interfere with what he's doing? Just I would let him do it. I mean, I know he, he, he's had some mad decisions, putting McKenna in the middle, but I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be like, what did you do that for? I'm sure he had a good reason. So totally leave him to it. Yeah, I'm missing it. Yeah, these things I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to trying to implement and improve on. And where we've come from, um, just this season is impressive, but I've seen Brian from the Irish Supporters Club has been posting some clips from the documentaries from the first couple of months of running the club, and um, it's fascinating to see the growth, uh, see what the team has evolved into, and see where we were just then. Uh, you know, the fact that we've got four teams now, you know, we're still recruiting uh, and still taking players all the time for those teams. So if you're interested in playing, get in touch. Um, there's an under-21s, a development team. We've got the Amis, which is our reserves, and then obviously the first team. But what one of the things I'm enjoying seeing is, I mean, talking about AB earlier, AB came into the development team. Um, so he played for the development team, scored a load of goals, came into the reserves, scored a load of goals, came into the first team towards the back end of last season. He actually scored um, on his debut. And then as the season ended, I think he struggled with work and getting to training. While we were training at Turn Moss in pre-season this summer, I spoke to him about wanting him to be part of the first team squad, but he's got to show it me in training. That's the rules for anybody. If I see it in training, I'll, and to, I don't think players really understand that performance in training has a huge impact on whether or not I'm going to give you a chance. If you impress me in training, I will at least put you on the bench. I mean, the likes of Callum that came down and... Dom, when I give Dom his first go, that was on the back of how well he did in training. All of the players that have broke into the team have broken into the team on training. Rafe came down. The first training session, I didn't really see anything because I was focusing on the defensive side of stuff and I didn't even watch him. The second training, I was like, yo, he's, he's actually mega. Let's get him signed. It's training that really picks the team and, and it's on the players to, to pick the team. So I think... AB is a shining example for every single player in the football club, whether you're in the 21s, whether you're in the devs, the Amis. If you perform in training, I'm watching. Um, and it should be every single, like, there's 100 players signed on or something. It should be every single one of those 100 players trying to impress in training to try and get a shirt for the first team come Saturday. Um, and if not, use your time in the development team. That, if, if you're in the development team, that's your level until it's not your level. And as soon as it's not your level, you will get moved up. Um, you know, at the moment, the development team, the 21s, the Amis, they're having a hard time of it because they've got the reputation of being Stratford Paddock, which is mad that we've even got a reputation, by the way, this early in our lives as a football club. But they've got the reputation of being Stratford Paddock, but they haven't got the, the quality that the first team possesses just yet. They'll get there, though. I've got a great coaching staff. I've got great coaches in each team. We've got a great backroom staff. Um, and we're recruiting constantly. So... Um, there's some mental resilience. Um, there's mental resilience to play for the first team because the cameras brings out the best in all our opposition all the time. But the mental resilience for, for the teams that aren't doing so well at the moment, that are hunting down wins, that are fighting around the bottom of the table, some good mental stuff going on there with them lads. And I think those that can hang on in there until the wins start to come, they'll be far better players for it. And they've got long careers. You don't need to win everything in one season.
I've been these speedos in the summer. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually walking in a sub jacket. Right? Oh, you're just walking around in a t shirt, though. A jacket in the boot. But, um, <laughs> yeah, not brought it, though, have you? Nah, it was just there. Yeah. Chilly, man. Cold. Man. You have to get a fucking leaf at a big bill's book. Look at that. That's cheap now. It's that Scottish. How do, you, how do you say, like, chilly in Scottish? Chilly. Baltic. Chilly. Yeah. Absolutely Scot Baltic. A little bit chilly. A little bit chilly. Chilly, really? Chilly. 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 First one is I want us to play football, but I don't want us to play football with a ball being passed by Oatsy from there into that bit there. Yeah? I don't want it there. If that player's there, then pass it in there because that gives us a chance then if they don't uh, get hold of it properly. There it, it causes us problems. Agreed? Oatsy, the best ball you hit was what? The one out on the top. Then do that. <laughs> don't put it in there. Put it in there as often as we can. I don't think we need to play in there, especially on the grass. I'm not going to be uh, here in two weeks' time. So, Josh will be running the team because Steve's away as well. I'm going to let Josh get on with it today a lot of the time. And I'm going to let uh, Josh get on with it. Obviously, the week uh, next week I'll still be here. But the week after, he will be getting on with it. So, you lot stick together as a team. Respect him. He respects you. Let's get out there and fucking respect the, uh, the opposition as well. They need respecting because if you think you just come here and you're fucking rolling them over, you're not. So I'm happy with the party, by the way. It's great, but then get our fucking heads on it and let's get out there and sort them out. Okay? <laughs> right, so just a little bit about the lineup today. Yeah. So something that you've done that Steve hasn't done is play Tom out on the wide, like outright. Yeah. Um, he's been doing really well there. Is that something that you thought of before, or is it something you just had to do kind of out of? you know, someone not being available. So, to be honest, just, just so I get the message out there properly, um, uh, I don't like using 100% as, as a term, but I'm, I'm fully behind Steve and what he's doing and how he's doing it and everything else. So I'm fully behind him. I ain't trying to make changes while Steve's away. Mm -hmm. uh, I am trying to grow the club as a club, so I've looked at the whole lot. Part of my role looking at the whole lot was to go and see the reserves and the youth team and the devs and all that type of thing. And that's why we've got AB now. And that's why we've got AB. So the, the system's working. The system Steve set up because it's Steve that's got me here. So otherwise, the system ain't, you know, it's his system. It ain't my system, it's his system. So I'm here, I've gone and done that. We've brought him. Now, we wanted to look at him starting the game rather than not starting the game. And it just so happened that we could ask, okay, okay, well, we've got a bit of a, Tom, can you play out on the right? And he said, yeah, I'll give it a go. I said, it'll give you an opportunity as well doing that bit I've been asking you to do to cover the back post and then he gets two goals in his first game I think Tom from covering the back post so he's realised if he pulls out a bit wider he can get in there anyway so that's what happened yeah. uh, that, that's how it happened and AB did well enough to keep his place in the team we've got great competition for places in the team now so uh, that's yeah. how it happened so you got Ronaldo Brown's back now as well yes uh, yeah. I think he got back from Qatar he said it like midnight or something. Is that yeah, why yeah. he's on the bench today? No, no. He's, <laughs> actually, to be, again, to be honest with you, if it weren't for uh, Ko dropping out at the last minute, he would have been with the reserves, or uh, they've asked him to go with the reserves. We've got to start. If he's getting back from Qatar, if he was with any other club, he'd have to get 90 minutes in the reserves or somewhere before he could play a, a game for the first team. That's how it should be at this club. You shouldn't just walk back from Qatar and walk in the team. Mm -hmm. And that, that ain't what I'm about or how I would do it. I'm, We've, we've won the last two games and played well, so why would I be dropping, the, especially the front players, so why would I be dropping someone for him who's only just got, got back? He yeah. needs to earn his place in the team like everyone else does. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Stretford Paddock match today. We're in Ashton today, not Ashton on Mersey, not Ashton under Lyme. We're in some Ashton near Wigan. 
Uh, Ashton Town Reserves are our hosts today in the Cheshire League Division 2, guys. Uh, big game for Paddock again. Say it all the time, but it's a must win. Let's go through this week's lineup. So, starting goal, Dan McKenna, and we've got a right to left back four of Michael Burke, our captain James O, Callum Kilrow at centre half today, and Omar Sinclair at left back. And it's a midfield three of Nasser Shakur holding in front of the back four. Nosri Yamu and Rafe Barber make up the rest of that midfield three. And then we have a forward line of Joa DeAndre on the left. Tom Jones on the right and Abdullah Saeed AB up front on the bench today we've got Ronaldo Brown back from Qatar got back last night he's on about two hours sleep so he's on the bench today Gennaro Samanaris back in the squad after his concussion protocol Kieran Malloy um, also joins them on the bench let's watch the game let's enjoy it Paddock have a free kick now. Uh, just within the uh, Ashton half. Omar stepping over it. It's not going to be shootable territory. In my opinion, this guy uh, this guy is probably the one guy who could score from here. Looks like he's going to cross it in. Ball goes in from Omar. Flicked on. And Kieran. Sorry, and Tom just cannot get on the end of that. There was a chance there for Paddock. Like Omar's got an unreal technique when it comes to crossing and shooting. You're on the bench. What, why are you wearing jeans? Bad again too. Night out at four. Are you, are you looking to play? No. <laughs> uh, no, I, I get injured during the week. Uh, went to training. Couldn't take part. Um, I thought it would clear up by now, but it's uh, still quite bad. But I'm hoping next week I'll be back. Bit of an injury. Yeah, yeah. More back. Getting old. Not good. No, no, not at all. Right. Ball not forward by Ashton. Oatsy deals with it. But Ashton have the ball again, but Oatsy again with a brilliant tackle, actually. Really, really good tackle. A little bit of afters, but Oatsy. Oh, hang on. Paddock have a chance here. A clearance gets over to Tom Jones, who gets it across goal. And AB just trying to arrive onto the ball. But that was great defending from Ashton. They just about did enough there to cut out the pass from Tom. Anyway, two in the wall. Tom Jones and Nosa. Ball comes in. NASA clears with his head. But it falls to the man on the edge of the box for Ashton, who kind of just bottles it, really. And Abdullah Saeed takes the ball away and goes on an adventure down the left-hand side. Big tackle going in there on the number nine, who's won, I'd probably say, 1% ball and 99% man there. I'd have a pop if I was him, but it looks like he's going to cross it. Hands goes up. He does cross it. Who's there? I'll tell you who's there. It's Omar Sinclair. And is it in? No. No goal, says the referee. The ball flicked off Omar's foot, hit the bottom of the crossbar, bounced off the line and back into the keeper's hands. But I tell you what, it might have crossed the line. The ref gave offside. So he's offside. So Paddock just have a throw in here, just within their own half. And they very nearly cheaply give the ball away. And they eventually have. Ashton have a chance to counter here. Ball shifted in to a dangerous position. Number nine's in on goal here. He takes the shot, but the ball trickles wide. So it's been quite an uneventful first half. Paddock have had a couple of chances, but Joe is advancing down the left now. He cuts inside. Good feet from Joa. Calm on the ball as he gets into the final third. Hits it across goal. It's in. Tom Jones is on the end of it. And Paddock are 1-0 up. And that was beautiful from Joa. He tried to advance within. kind of. He was going down the left. He cut inside. And he had his little pause on the ball. Turned round. Went out again. Got the cross into the back stick. And just like Tom did twice last week to Joa. Joa's done it back to Tom. Ball across goal. Where... The other one was there to knock it in. And Paddock are 1-0 up. Here's 11. Cuts it across and there's a chance for a shot here. Number 10 on the edge of the box. Goes past Sinclair. Hits it goalwards. And it's not gone in. It's been blocked. And cleared away. But the danger's not over. But it is now because Nosa's got the ball. Nosa driving it forward. Again, using his body to try and draw a foul. But there's no foul. He gets it out to Joa. Joa on the left-hand side toying with number 18 
Needs to cross the ball really here. He stops in his tracks. Nice one-two between Rafe and Joa, but then Rafe actually just tried to pass it to Mikey and forced it out of play. Anyway, Omar does throw it in. Quite far, but it is cleared. Only far as Joa, who gets the ball up in the air. Here's Nosa, bringing it down beautifully. With pressure on him again, but he stays calm. Nice one-two between Nosa and Tom Jones. And the referee's not given a foul there, which I thought was pretty nailed on to be given. But here's Oatsy on the edge of the box. Gets it into Tom. Can Tom cross it? Penalty, surely. No. Penalty shout there. Big challenge going in on Tom Jones. And there's a little wrestle here between Oatsy and he's been pushed. And it could kick off here. Here's Ashton, getting uh, far into Paddock's third, final third here. They're on the edge of the box. Number nine hits it, goalwards. McKenna is there, though. It wasn't the most powerful shot, kind of more of a looping one. McKenna just got his fingertips to it, bounced, and then he picked it up. Throw into Paddock. This will probably be the last action of the half. I feel like we've been playing for about... 60 minutes it's a bit like these uh, World Cup added times it's half time just add one or two minutes on no I'm going to add 14 on why because there was a throw in goodness me now I do like that what do you guys think I'll have a look in the comments again what do you think of the old added time being really accurate in the World Cup I actually like it because in fact Steve if you listen I think we had a chat about this on XG uh, not too long ago where we were saying that there's so much time wasting in football that if you actually add all the time on properly, it might deter people to time waste because you know you're not achieving anything. Uh, well, there's the whistle for half time. So Stretford Paddock are going to come in 1-0 up. Well, would you agree that we're not moving the ball quick enough? Too slow, very yeah? slow, very Too flat. flat. Sorry. Yeah. So, so some of you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just do it as a general, I normally point people out, but some of you have been caught on the ball trying to play it. Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah, and I'm, I'm not blank. I'm just saying, some of you have been caught. Can we not get caught? Because if we get caught, we've got a problem. Yeah, people are saying to me it's flat. Yeah, so is it flat out there? Oh, so you're even flat in here. So is it yeah, flat yeah, out flat. there? Yeah, okay. So if it's flat, what are you going to do about changing it from being flat? So you come up with the answer to that. What is the answer to change it to being flat? Speed it up, two touch. Speed it up, two touch, lots of communication, be positive move, with move people. Side to side, move they're, they're, side not, to side, they're not very that. good. Yeah. I can't stress out on his own, Mike, he's free. Just switch the fucking block. I'm going to make three substitutions. I'm not doing them now, I'll do it five minutes into the game. I'm going to get these lot uh, ready and get it on. When we make the substitutions, get on with it. The players that we're taking off, we could be putting back on. Is anyone not thinking that they should stay on at this point in time for any reason? No, everyone wants to stay on then, yeah? Okay, so we'll make, the, we'll make that rather than having all the aggravation in here when we make it, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, but listen, it, like I said to you before, we're a team, we're a club, and what we do, we do the right things all through, yeah? So wherever, whatever you've put into it, you've got us to the point where we're 1-0 up, yeah? We've now got to uh, see out the game. And the players coming on, there's no reason why they come on and stay on, they could be coming on and coming off. Is that all right? That's all I've got to say, really. Yeah, just... The One Football app is unbelievable. If you want any like, football scores, news, transfer rumours, you can even watch a bit of Serie A live on there. Get the One Football app, it's amazing. And Stretford Paddock FC are actually on the app as well. If that's not a good enough reason to get the app, I don't know what is. Ronnie, I've got a burning question. How was Qatar? Is that, to do that, much was fitness. that up on that? Burning, burning question. Hot. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting much fitness in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> walk, walk into the metro station. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, long walk. What's it? Are you motivated to get back on now? Yeah, yeah. Ready to come back and assist the old school. Oh my god. You're lucky Dom's uh, in the <laughs> What's this happened? We just conceded, mate. That's your fault for filming me trying to shit. What's, what was that? What has happened then? McKenna just played into the ball at the.
and I'm, I, I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to do it, guys. It's another mistake from McKenna. Um, he's tried to clear the ball. Look, look I'm not going to lie. It was a bit of a hospital pass. Um, McKenna's tried to clear it. It's been blocked by the Ashton player, and he's knocked it into an empty net. But there's a chance for a counter here, but Callum Kilrow dispossesses it. This is the thing with Callum, right? When he does, like, intercept passes, he just does it so coolly. He looks like... He doesn't give a shit about anything ever. Which is a good little trait. Right, Joe has got the ball here. He's just got into the edge of the box. He has a pop. It's actually nearly gone in. Block from the Ashton player. The ball goes out for a corner. Callum getting forward. Standing on the keeper. Nice to see. In comes the ball. Omar Sinclair scores! There you go. That's what you call commentator's curse, but the other way round. Commentator's um, good luck charm. Mikey Burke whips it in. Omar Sinclair unmarked. Heads it goalwards. It's in. Under the keeper. Goal. 2-1 paddock. Come on. Is Tom getting into Kieran. Great move from the two of them. Is Kieran running at his man like he likes to do. Into Tom. Great connection from the two of them. Kieran again. Kieran turns. Kieran still has the ball. He's on the edge of the box. And his shot. Pretty poor. But that was good feet from Kieran. And great chemistry there from him and Tom Jones. They give each other a little high five there. That's what you like to see. <laughs> you know, like I said, the actual area that we're in, the ground's a beautiful setup. But it's quite a um, bobbly wide pitch. Not the best football in the world can be pelled on it, but Paddock are doing their best. And Malloy beats his man. Something he can do on any surface. He's in the box now. What can he do? Shot is saved. Tight angle. Jones's follow-up, though, has just trickled wide. Chance for Paddock. Great pass from Mikey with the outside of his right, but that is absolutely beautiful. And Joa takes it into his stride. Joa has a pop. Everything was right there, apart from the shot. I love that. Absolutely love that. Oates, he spreads it to Mikey. Mikey Burke on the left-hand side. Advancing. Gives it to Nosa, who's fouled. No, he's not fouled, actually. Or is he? We'll check the highlights later. Not been given, though. And there's a chance for 14. Chance for nine. McKenna, though, clears it. And that was a chance for Paddock and a penalty shout. Here's Kieran, sorry. In a dangerous Kieran position as always. Knocks it past his man. Crosses the ball. AB's there. And again. Their last-ditch defending's been pretty good today, Ashton. Paddock have had quite a few half chances like that, where they've just cut it out before we can get a shot away. Big tackles. And Ashton have possession now. Here's number six. AB has the ball now. He crosses it in. Kieran's there. Kieran shoots, and it trickles wide of the post. That was a golden opportunity for Paddock to set themselves a two-goal cushion. Here's number 10 for um, Ashton. Out on the byline. Is the byline... No, touchline. He's out on the touchline. Number 17 now in the middle of the pitch on the halfway line. But Paddock dispossessed them. And Janeiro tries to slot it into Kieran, who's going to win this race and going to have a chance here. AB across. And Paddock, I've done it. Sue AB doing Ronaldo Sue celebration and what an important goal that is just when Ashton were building up pressure Kieran was waiting lurking on that halfway line to start a counter attack and once the ball was cleared he got on the end of it beat his man put it into AB who had an open net and Paddock with less than five minutes to go less than two minutes to go until stoppage time are three one up. So yeah, we're in the uh, second minute of added time here, so shouldn't be long left. 
Paddock's still going for the goal though. Here's Oatsy. Another big tackle in from the Ashton man. And that's the full-time whistle. Stretford Paddock have won again in the league. I'm getting used to saying that. Paddock winning in the league. 3-1 away today against Ashton Town. Goals from Abdullah Saeed, Tom Jones and Omar from the corner. Scoring the second goal. Great win for Paddock. Got a little bit tense at the end. But just when Ashton were piling on the pressure, Paddock were there and punished them on the counter. Massive win for the boys. We were slow to get going. Um, we were just trying to get used to the pitch. The sun was in our eyes as well, so obviously it's not an excuse. Uh, as we settled into the game, obviously we're just a better team, it? so you're yeah, obviously going to start popping out about getting in space, just getting it in the channel, and that. they didn't really cause us any problems. So it was just about just self-discipline and just doing what we needed to do to just get three points. And it's just one of them. Was. Yeah, I would agree. I think performance-wise, there's levels to go with us. I think next week. There's no excuses on an Astro Turf pitch. We should be we should be a lot better on there. Yeah, we should. Um, I think there was a bit of tempo fluctuating between us, but when we got into our rhythm, it was there. We just got to be more deadly next week. Yeah. yeah. Who we got next week? Same team. Who same is it? Yeah, we're playing playing Ashton again next week. Playing them just on MEA, so it's going to be slightly bigger, better surface. Mm -hmm. I think we should be better for that. Well, we didn't concede up any set pieces today, no. so that's an improvement. Yeah, I think that's actually. that's our biggest improvement as a team. Yeah. The last two weeks. Have we looked like conceding from a set piece? No, nah, not directly. We still need to get on the second ball spell, but directly from the fucking. No. Uh, sorry, from the thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's so. Well, we're winning. We're winning first contact. You scored a goal, first yeah, contact. Yeah. So we've not just got better defensive. We're scoring now. So mm. I, I'm pleased with that. And uh, and yeah, the, un the only time we look like conceding was from our own mistake, wasn't it? Yeah, for real. So Thanks. yeah. Real fan ownership, real fan input, real fan change, real fan power. 50 plus one, we can go better than that. 100 plus none. Download our app, view the free content, read about the club, that's fine. But if you want more, become a member. To vote, to go behind the scenes, to make an impact, interact with a global community around the world, influencing how we grow, where we play, club ethics and values. The more members we have, the faster we grow. Support the club, run the club, own the club. This is ours and no one will take it away. The future is in all our hands.